gotcha! Oh, I didn't show you guys. Ah, it's pinkish. It's magenta underneath. It's more purple. It's more pink than I wanted it to be. It's actually really bright, bright purple, magenta red. It has a red in it, which I thought was really cool. I used Splat and Lusty Dive in there. I made a video on it. It just, uh, it, I had to take it down for copyright reasons. I put it up last night and I got an email this morning saying, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I bleached it. On this side, got a lot, a lot of bleach. So it turned like really white. And then it has a really pale pink. But um, I curled my hair there, and I used uh, my Infinity U Curl Connor wand. Anyway, so that's really just my new hair. I'm going to go something new, not natural, but whatever. So I'm doing a natural middle school makeup tutorial today, and I know the lighting like really off. You guys like my sexy shirt. Um, lighting's like there. Why can't the lighting be like that? See, so you can see all my imperfections. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so my clean skin, my clean, my skin is cleared up in the past month very well. So I'm just gonna get started on my natural middle school makeup tutorial. So the first thing you wanna do is you can prime your face. I honestly don't think that's necessary. Um. So in this video, I won't be using bronzer this time. I know I made a middle school makeup tutorial and I used bronzer. I just don't think it's necessary for middle school anymore. You can, I'm trying to get all my stuff kind of squared away. Okay, so a concealer definitely is pretty much necessary if you have kind of prone to acne, acne prone skin like me, but it's been clearing up. I'm just trying to get one big poof, I can't even call the curl. Anyway, so I use all drugstore, I think I said all drugstore, except for my blush. My blush, I don't know where I got it, I got it from my right there. I know what it's called, but I depotted it. It's I'll show you guys later. So this is the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion. Fresh Complexion and Creamy Natural. This is my winter slash. I'm not gonna focus on that small red in it. No, it's in Creamy Natural. Though. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Do you guys see that? Oh. It was like flashing in the background. So, it's really light on screen. I mean, everything is discolored. There you go. So, I just put a little bit on the back of my hand just to kind of warm it up. The warmth of your skin. Now, you might not think your skin's warm. It's because your body is used to it. Okay, so this, this brush isn't really thorough. None of my brushes are. But, I'm going to show my doors locked. It has like a different colors on it because I use like a colored concealer under here. It's like a salmon color, but now I'm using this. So I just do that and warm it up in the back of my hand. Then this is my concealer. Oh my god, do you guys see that? The background saw it. It's like when I hold it in. This is my Sephora Professionals. Ooh. 46 concealer brush. 46 concealer. Ooh, okay. So I'm just going to take this and after it's warmed up. And if you guys see me looking this way, I have a mirror. But I will just try to do it straight on, so I will just hold my little cover going around. My circles pretty much disappear at the end of the day. So, I mean, it looks really bad on camera if you can see anything. I hate this lighting. Oh my god, I just dipped it in my powder. So stupid. Okay, and then. Really stuff right I have a little scarring over here. This is definitely not necessary if your skin's really clear, but you know. Um, and a little bit of concealer. Like I got a $17 Smashbox concealer. I don't even use it because I love this concealer so much. This brush is really dense. I wouldn't prefer using this. But I prefer recommend using it. I'm just blending it out now. I'm not blending it all the way out because I have a trick to make it really blend into your skin. But it really dries really quick so you kind of got to work fast with it. So I'm going to get something in it on my MacBook so I can't really pause it but I'm just getting it out of my backpack. Can I say that I had my hands last night? And 
I really I believe it's in here. My language art and my thunder out. I got it. I got it. Okay, this is the Elf Foundation brush, the professional one. It's just from their essentials line. And it's so soft. I mean it's pretty dense, but it's I just take that and blend it. And I do that, it really blends really well. It blends the color really, really well. And no, it blends it out so well that it doesn't look cakey at all. Alright, so, that I have a little brush. But it's not going to be perfect. Alright, so I'm going to peel. Of course I do. So I'm going to take my high ribbon foot ready powder. And light medium. I love this. It focuses so much better on my camera. I love my hair. Oh my gosh. Stop it. My skin hurts. Okay. So it's a pretty dark shade, I guess you could say. Um, I like it. It looks the tan. It looks pretty dark, I guess you could say. Oops. It's a little pat. Um, I'm going to go swatch over my concealer. You guys can't even tell, can you? Hold on. It blends so well on the skin. It's right there. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. And I would use my MAC Manila Escape Finish Naturals in Medium Plus. But, you know, I've been recently noticing that my skin's starting to really break out whenever I use MAC. I'm really sad because MAC has always been my favorite since I ever started off makeup. Um, that's how I started on my collection, and then I got into e.l.f., but I stopped using it. I think my skin got used to e.l.f. and drugstores, and I got back, and it just started to break out, but I've been using it, so it stopped breaking out. All of a sudden, it just started breaking out again. I don't know why. I'm just going to take a, um, Coastal Science Special Edition Alice in Wonderland brush, and I'm going to blend that out so it doesn't look so powdery. So you can use Max Fix Plus, which I do have, but I'm not using it just because I like to save that for more special occasions like dances or pictures so I don't look so cakey. So I'm just dipping this brush in the powder and kind of blending my hairline and down my jaw. It matches pretty well. Right, so I'm just going to dust that off. And I just have it in my old school cup. I'm not going to show you the name. I'm just going to dip it in water. This works just as well as Max Fix Plus. Swirl around on my arm because I have more product. And stick it on my arm. <laughs> kind of make sure it's not too wet. You pick up a little bit of product, just a little bit. And stipple on your face. So it doesn't look so cakey, but you're still getting that nice gloss coverage. It's not the best feeling in the world because it's a really precise. This is a um, blush brush, so it's really precise. And <laughs> The balls, the balls, the balls. Shoot, bop, bop. So today we went to the high school. You can see my middle school. It's not the high school that I'm going to, but it's a different one in the school district. And um, we watched Grease Landing go, Grease Landing. I look really pale. Oh my god, you guys can see my messy, disgusting. Ooh, boom. Looks pretty good. My makeup, no, my makeup looks horrible. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Bonnebel brush, my Bonnebel, my Bonnebel blush, that I depotted it, and the color is in the Prom King, Prom King, ugh, the Prom Queen collection, I have the eyeshadow right here, Prom Queen, I have all the collections, ooh, Prom Queen, Bonnebel, and the blushes only come in like the very, my camera's not picking up colors. Top pick. It only comes in this, but it's a little more sheer. It doesn't pick up well on my hand. It's a really sheer eyeshadow. I like this. I use this for the formals that I go to. The dances that I go to and picture day. Um, the blue is so pretty. It makes my eyes, like, really pop. It's like a pretty hue. So the blush that I'm using is the blush in this collection. This is the eyeshadow tree, uh, quad. But the blush I depotted just because I like a mineral blush. So I depotted and crushed it up. Um, I like that. So 
I'm going to get started with that. So I'm just going to take a brush. This is my old, old MAC brush. I mean, this is probably, ooh, see, it's even broken. I like super good, like, sometimes. This is my very old MAC brush. I've had this since the beginning. This is my first brush from MAC I ever got, other than the MAC 187, the Kabuki, which is 50 bucks. But, I got this. And so I'm just going to get it in there. The brush, get in the brush. Dab off that side. So, and just my very notions throw on at home and blend. And I have such a nice it's a such a nice flesh tone color. Not really but and I just put it in a triangle so it gets a nice section section of my cheek and it just brightens up your face uh this, this blush the prom queen collection it comes in so many different colors um but i have the one this is just the prom queen this is just the sheer pink one i think the color is babyless but i don't really know because like i said i do part of it but it is a prom queen collection it's the only really true pink one that looks really natural. I'm just going to take this brush and just kind of stipple and blend, stipple blend, and just blend that. So there's no harsh line. It was a tiny cheekbone. So if you're in middle school and you want to take a little teeny little brown brush on a foundation brush, wipe the brush, spray it on the back of your hand, take a little bit of bronzer, and find the fun. I know it will be really harsh. We're defining the apples of your cheeks, which is going to look so amazing in the end. This is definitely not necessary for middle school. Just blend out. Eyeshadow, I don't really wear eyeshadow. I'm just taking the same blush brush and blending out the bronzer out so it kind of adds a little more flesh tone. Pinky. Um, but eyeshadow, um, I just take the Prom Queen. I take this, um, this is called. Rubenesque blue. I just take that on. Where's it at? I just, um, the Coastal Scents Alice Edition. I said a brush has island on the inside, but I ripped it off because I don't know. I think my dog would. Okay. But I'm just going to apply that right to the lid. I don't use primer because I don't really think it's necessary in middle school. This is a really nice 6th, 7th, 8th, I mean, any age grade look. But it's really nice for sixth graders going into middle school wanting to spice up their makeup. A really nice collection. You can start by the Bonneville stuff. I always started by NAC because my mom always worked at NAC. So I was like, oh my god, mom, I gotta get into it. Like, okay. So now for mascara. Mascara. I don't use MAC mascaras. I use mascara. I use Maybelline Full Soft mascara. Um, in carbon. I like carbon. So I'm just going to apply this. My lashes, root to tip. Try not to get it in my beautiful, lusciously blonde purple hair. I don't curl. I mean, curling out is pretty necessary. I do it after mascara on. I feel mascara weird. It's just the way I am. Do you have peeps? I mean, literally, it looks like I'm not wearing anything. Maybe you can definitely tell I'm wearing a little blush just because it's a little too pinkish for my eye color and skin tone. I mean, it looks pretty natural now. For hair, I would just curl it, straighten it, leave it natural, whatever. So this is the eyes. I just really want you guys to really see the pinkiness in my cheeks. That's what we can't. I'll try to fix this thing. I probably won't. I hate everything. I just like to get it all done. I like to take and just put my elf foundation in fair and just dust it over my face. Okay, I'm still okay, like that. Just to add a little bit of spice and set everything. Alright, YouTube. Thank you guys for watching so much and bye.